always want to play. You know what I mean? So figure out where you think I can go, where I can have a chance to play uh, again and, and move me there and move me over linebacker. He said, and, and the linebacker coach didn't want to, uh, who's a good friend of mine now, Vernon Hargraves, you know, uh, he really, I, he saw, he was with the other staff. He saw me as a running back. So he really didn't want me over there to, if, if you were to ask him in the beginning. And um, I went to coach. I said, you know, I just need a few reps in spring ball. They gave me five reps. I had three tackles and five reps. I got 10 reps the next uh, spring practice, uh, you know, game scrimmage, whatever. I don't know if they do them as much anymore, but they used to do them back then all the time. You know, every week, every Saturday was a game scrimmage. And yeah, I got 10 reps by spring, by the spring game, I was uh, getting about half the reps at my position. And then I went in the next fall as the fourth guy, there were three linebackers. I was the fourth guy. I was kind of the guy that would fill in any everywhere, right? Played a lot. And then I started the end of the year and started my whole senior year. But the point is, is that you have to, if you want to speak up for your mom and dad cannot speak up for you. Coaches don't respect that. And I realized right then that my father said it to me. You want more playing time? You want to get a chance? You go talk to coach. You go talk. Yep. Instead, of complaining, instead of complaining to me, we can complain all we want to each other. Nothing's going to happen. We could we could gossip all we want with whoever we want until you talk to someone that could actually possibly change your future and have that conversation with them. And they may say to you, hey, we don't think you're good enough yet. Well, that might mean you might have to work harder. They may they may say, you know, we have you at this position. We, you know, we don't think this is the right place for you. You got to make decisions from that standpoint. But until you talk to a coach, actually talk to a coach, that's that's why the open door policies that most right. people have there, right? Because um, guys will go and talk on their own instead of go and talk to the source who could possibly help them and get and get an, a question answered. And I think that's a thing that kids nowadays are not as because they're always on social media. They they're not as comfortable doing that, and I think that's part of the issue with the transfer portal. I bet you half these kids, if they went in and have a conversation with their position coach or their head coach or both at the same time, they would probably solve half of those problems. But what they do now is they talk to the mom and dad or their friend or whoever, and and they basically gossip and they say, screw this guy, I'm out of here, you know, and they never talk to anybody. And I yep. think that's the biggest thing. Like part of becoming a man, even though you're still a kid, maybe, you know, you in your brain at 18, 19, you have to become a man maturity wise to be able to, to talk to coaches. And even if you're scared, you still have to talk yeah. to them. And but that, you got to do it.